Peveril Castle is a ruined 11th century castle sat on top of a steep hill overlooking the village of Castleton in the English county of Derbyshire in the East Midlands. It is one of the earliest Norman fortresses in the whole of England and is unusual that it was built of stone and not timber. History. The castle was built some short time after the Norman conquest of 1066 and was the feudal barony of William Peveril. In the 1141 civil war between King Stephen and Empress Matilda, Peveril backed the losing side and his fortress suffered after his capture at the Battle of Lincoln. William Perivel the Younger inherited his father's estate, but in 1155 they were confiscated by King Henry II on the suspicion that he was responsible for the 1153 poisoning of Ranulf Gernon, 4th Earl of Chester. In 1157, King Henry stayed at the castle and hosted King Malcolm IV of Scotland after ceding Cumberland and Westmoreland to England. During the 1173 revolts led by the King's sons Joffrey, Duke of Brittany and Richard the Lionheart, the castle was reinforced and protected by 20 Nights. In 1189, King Henry II died and was succeeded by Richard the Lionheart. Richard then granted the lordship of the castle to his brother John. John later rebelled against his brother and consequently had his lordship confiscated. In 1199, John became king after his brother's death and sold the lordship to the fourth Earl of Derby, William de Ferrer. In 1216, the king was forced to give possession to the castle to the Earl. In 1223, the castle was returned to the crown after Henry III ascended to the throne. In 1331, Edward III gave the lordship to his wife, Philippa of Hainaut. In 1345, it was given to John de Warren, 7th Earl of Surrey. The castle was then passed to Edward I. At the end of the 14th century, the barony was granted to the Duke of Lancaster, John of Gaunt, in exchange for the earldom of Richmond. Even though the castle was now under the Duke's ownership, he had little use for it and ordered the castle be stripped of its contents and moved to Pontefract Castle, thus marking the beginning of its decline. It was later inherited by his son, Henry IV, of the House of Lancaster. By the 17th century, the castle had already fallen into ruin. Today. Today, the castle is a major tourist attraction and makes up part of the go-tos in the Peak District. It sits on top of a steep limestone hill in the middle of a protected national park. English Heritage now look after and maintain the castle, but it is still owned by the Crown as part of the Duchy of Lancaster. What's around? Paravel Castle overlooks Hope Valley and the town of Castleton. It is close to Mount Tor and the Roman fort of Navio, which you can see from the castle. There are also several infamous caverns close by, which are all open to the public, as well as other Bronze Age historic sites and famous peaks. It is also a short distance away by car from Lady Bower Reservoir. If you want to visit the castle, you can park in the village of Castleton, or even take the train to the village of Hope where you can catch a bus to it. Adult tickets cost around £7 and is open every day from 10am to 5pm.